I asked my local card shop to make me the biggest mystery box and you won't believe the crazy stuff they put in there. Oh my God, the secret rare. Holy dude, look at that. Oh my God. I've seen this card only in pictures and let me tell you, they don't do it justice. Let's open up some packs and find out what we got. I hope you're all having a great day today. So I actually went to my local card shop with an odd request. I went to Legacy Sports Cards here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and asked them to fill a mystery box up and seal it up. I have no idea what is in this box I'm about to show you guys, but here's what I do know. I gave them a budget of about $150. Other than that, no rules, just a box. It is extremely heavy, guys. I mean, look at this. And it like, to you see, it's totally sealed, 100% totally sealed. I don't know. There's definitely like some some like lumpy parts. I can feel like this side of the box is heavier than like say this side. So I guess I could shake it. Why don't I just shake it? I didn't really do anything. Before we get started, I just want to say if you're enjoying this content, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button down below and please leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite poll was from today and please tell me what your favorite set is. I want to know. I want to hear all about it. Okay, I don't really know how I want to do this. I think what I'll do is I will open up this box one at a time. It's not really going to be in frame because this thing is freaking massive. Like, literally, I don't even, I wasn't expecting a box this big. But hopefully that means we get a lot of good stuff. Hopefully there's a good mix of old and new. I know we really haven't had, I got to pull the mug knife out of here. I know we really haven't had a chance to pull like a bunch of, you know, maybe like Sun and Moon as much as I really wanted to. It's really been Sword and Shield. And, and if you've been following my shorts, we've been doing Scarlet and Violet as well. Um, go check out those shorts if you haven't had a chance to do it. Um, I post every single day on YouTube. I post every day on TikTok. I post every day on Instagram and Facebook as well. So you guys can always check out my stuff on there. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna try to get this as much in the shot as possible, but literally just, just ripping this for the first time. They were so stoked to do this. Like I know it's kind of an odd request and um, I actually like did it on Scarlet and Violet release day. So they're a little busy, but they're stoked to do it. All right, oh, gotta get that last spot. Okay, all right, it's open. All right, one at a time. I'm gonna move the box off to the side. I'm not gonna look. The first thing that I touch is what I'm gonna open. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, no way. All right, I'm gonna show the camera. Here we go. Got that Pokemon Go Radiant Eevee set with the Radiant Eevee pin. You actually can't get this Radiant Eevee in regular boosters. So I've been trying to buy this thing for literally so long. Um, just because I don't have this Radiant Eevee. Oh my God, and that pin. I almost want to keep it sealed, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, no way. It comes with this play mat too. Like I said, I've never opened this before. Um, I won't I won't, I won't. do the play mat, but dude, oh my God. You already know Pokemon Go is my favorite set. This is so cool. Oh my God. Look at, there's that. Oh, there's that Radiant Eevee right there. Oh my God. I'm not going to take it out. I definitely am going to show off this pin because it's so freaking cool. Got this shiny Eevee pin. Oh my God. Dude, my son has been looking to get this box. Like he's been asking me every time we go to Legacy and look for it. He literally asked for this box. I'm always like, you know what? We'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. But now he's got this pin. He's going to be super stoked. I kind of want to keep it myself, but I'll be a good dad. All right, eight packs of Pokemon Go. Let's get those Mewtwo's. Times Square Mewtwo, Gold Card Mewtwo. Every kind of Mewtwo. The Radiant Charizard's super sick too. I don't care. Let's just get them all. Got eight tries to do it. Looking forward to this. It's going to be a good one, guys. I've really been looking forward to this video. If you saw the last one, we did the Poke Rev packs. Articuno Hollow did the Poke Rev packs. If you haven't had a chance to check out that video, I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description down below. We had so much fun doing it. The Poke Rev packs are now sold out. But you can see uh, exactly what you can get from those, the different kinds of cards you can get. Um, I probably think he's going to be restocking them again in the future. Um, that was the third iteration of the PokeRev packs. So definitely check out that video. I think it's useful to know what's in them, what you can get, what I got. I'll leave that a surprise. Oh, Lolan Executor V. I recently left a poll asking you guys what content you wanted. Uh, actually, after I finished filming the PokeRev packs, the PokeRev packs won by a mile, so I'm actually glad I made the right call on that one. But I'll drop another poll later, and I, I really just want to film what you guys want to see. So just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you got. Oh, got the Venusaur Hollow. Tell me what you want to see, and I will do it, okay? Guys, I'm still searching for the Ditto. Did we pass it? Wait, 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 wait. Did we pass it? 
We got a Chansey Reverse the first time. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, we got the Lapras. I was going to say, if we pass it, like, oh, my God. I think the Ditto can only be in the Reverse slot. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, let me know if I'm wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure that Ditto can only be in the Reverse. Get the Natu. Tyranitar and another Articuno. It's a small set. Um, so it's so it's easier than than other sets to get the pulls that you're looking for. Obviously, with like those all arts and the gold cards, they're not going to be necessarily easy pulls. Um, but it, I think it's like an eighty or ninety something card set. I really don't know off the top of my head, but definitely an easier set to pull. Have the Radiant Trio, which is uh, quite an accomplishment. Pulled them all, didn't have to buy them. The Meltan, the Doof, Char. Oh, the Mel Metal V. This card keeps showing up. I pulled this card like a bajillion times. All right, we got three more Pokemon Go. We're just getting started, guys. I know there's going to be so much good stuff in this. We are literally just getting started on this. So I already know it's going to be heat on today's episode. Absolutely fire. The Pokestop and a Golisopod. In a perfect world, there's going to be like some Sun Moon, some XY stuff. But that might just be a little out of the $150 budget. I just want to remind you, not a sponsor. I just really like supporting local card shops. I will always give local card shops a huge shout out. Um, just because I feel like that they're the ones that are really supporting the scene. Got the Magikarp. Can the Magikarp be ditto? I don't think so. And an Articuno for the third time. Um, the, the local card shops are really doing a lot here to support the scene. Um, locally, especially. They're the ones that are busy every weekend. I, I really do enjoy supporting them. Don't get me wrong. I'll always shop at Walmart, Target, um, Sam's Club. They always seem to have really good deals as well. Um, but I do like to mix it up. So last pack here. Get the V-Star. All right. It's going to happen. We're going to get some good stuff here. Get the Eevee. The Numo. I know the Numo can be a ditto. Oh, Radiant Blastoise. Oh, okay, at least we got one hit. Can we get double? Oh, the Mel Metal. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. The Radiant Trio is so incredible in this set. We are just getting warmed up here. I'm about to reach in and grab another item, box, blister, booster box. I don't know. Let's do it. First thing that I feel is going to be... Oh, a three-pack blister of Scarlet and Violet. This is going to be the first time we're pulling Scarlet and Violet on the channel on a long form video let's get it oh my god i'm so excited in case you guys didn't see i talked about like my luck on the last one just uh there's a there's a code card there and of course the arcanine beautiful card i like that it's a different hollow there's like a cool little like kind of bubble shine pattern on there anyways on the last uh on the last video i told you guys i opened a scarlet and violet booster box off the channel and got the alt art great tusk the Arvin Full Art Trainer, uh, one of them, um, the Professor's Research, and like a bunch of illustration rares, and I totally messed up the Patrick. Oh my god. No, wait. It's one from the back. Can I undo it? I got to undo it. It's one from the back. It's one from the back. Uh, okay. One from the back. Let's see if I got that right. Okay. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, and a bunch of EX cards, too. So uh, Scarlet and Violet is a really loaded set for a base set. It is stupid loaded. Got the Watchroll, the Quaxley, the Spidops EX on the first pack. Oh my god. Dude, it is so broken. Of course, you get two reverses, um, two reverse slots, and, and the rare slot as well. So, oh my god, dude. Scarlet and Violet is stupid broken. All right. One from the back, because I always mess this up. One from the back. Basic. And of course, you've got the new white or silver or whatever they are, borders. Um, took a lot to get used to. I really wasn't a fan of that first. And oh, look at those EX. Oh my God, the secret rare. Holy dude, look at that. Oh my God. I've seen this card only in pictures. And let me tell you, they don't do it justice. Oh my God, the Gyarados EX secret rare. We're two for two so far. Oh my, I, don't, I have no idea what this is even going for, but wow. Oh my god. All right, we're going to continue. We're going to keep getting good luck. I'm going to put this in a, in a sleeve here. Uh, we're going to keep getting good luck on this channel, on this one right now. Dude, Scarlet and Violet just broken. Absolutely broken. And it feels different. Like, it feels stiff. It's so weird. I think they're like different manufacturers or something, but like the booster feels stiff. All right, one from the back. Let's do it again. All right, got the basic. That Toad School, he's running. Houndoom, and of course the designs are fresh. They all look really good. 
Um, I'm really a huge fan of the design. The slow bro, the cacnea, come on, we go three for three, and the king gambit. Uh, hollow, you are guaranteed a hollow or better in every one of these packs. So that's going to be the reason why they justify the higher MSRP. Um, but again, I think it's cool. So no more fooling around with a white code card, black code card, and getting something that's really not good. Uh, so that's a real benefit there if uh, if you're considering buying them. So let's keep moving along. I'm going to reach in here and just grab the next thing. I think we're about a third of the way through the value. All right, this feels like an ETB, and it is a Shining Fates ETB. Oh my God, the first time we've done Shining Fates so far on the channel. Oh my God, the first time we've done an ETB on the channel, actually. You know what they say about Shining Fates? That it's basically Champion's Path 2.0 disguised as Hidden Fates 2.0. I'm not gonna confirm or deny that. Just because I've never had good luck on the Shining Fates doesn't mean that it's not a good set. Um, I'm not gonna get into all this. Let's just grab the packs. Dude, this is so sick. Can we get the Charizard? Can we get that Charizard? They're all like upside. Why are some of them upside down? Um, all right. Okay. All right, let's do it. Shining Fates special set from, I don't know, a while ago, last year, two years ago. Who knows? Not me. I don't remember. Um, but lots of cool cards in there. Obviously, lots of good, like crazy shiny cards that you can get too. So. Let's do it. Bosses, orders, and a Volcanion. A lot of firsts for today, guys. A lot of firsts. Shining Fates, Scarlet Violet Base. Let's just keep getting that variety. All right, let's do it. Going back to the Sword and Shield era, Team Yell Towel. Nicket, Rowlet, Galarian Weezing, and a Hollow Luxray. What's your favorite card in Shining Fates? Leave a comment down below. Tell me, I wanna know there's so many crazy cards in shiny face that like look cool, but like aren't super valuable. I don't really know why. Maybe I just really like shiny Pokemon, but like, I feel like shiny fates could have been really cool. And in some ways it is kind of cool. If I'm wrong. Oh, got the shiny Galarian Darmanitan into a non hollow Celebi. Let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong about shining fates, just tell me, is it actually heat? Like, I don't really know. Got that Cramorant, the Thwacky. Coolest name ever. Cacnea. Get the Choodle. Got him in a Miss Sword and Shield. I missed the game. And I'm going to miss the Pokemon cards. I know it's a new era. I know we got some cool stuff going. I know that Scarlet and Violet is going to be incredible. I know that Paldea Evolved is going to be incredible. I want those starter illustration rares so badly. And I got to wait until June. June. It's only April. We gotta wait till June. Coughing. Horsey and the Celebi again. Really, it's kind of like evolving skies in that like it only really takes one for that to change. So I don't know. I think we should just keep pulling it. Get the ball guy. Shinx. Come on. Come on. Let's get something right here. Oh, the Rillaboom. All right, halfway through. I think he came with eight, right? Right? I don't know. Came with eight in the ETB. I'm getting thrown off because you had uh, Crown Zenith that came with like 10 or 12. And then you have uh, Scarlet and Violet, which comes with nine. I don't know what it comes with in the... Oh, got the amazing rare Kyogre. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, and I think it, it either comes with nine or 11, depending on which one you buy for Scarlet and Violet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm like getting all thrown off, but I think we were at eight. This is the sixth of eight so far for shining fates. The fire. I don't know what else is in the box. Um, so I don't know how much more content we have, but we're just going to keep pulling. Got the Luxio and the dreadnought. Dude, if we get this Charizard here, like I'm just going to end it now. I probably won't even open the rest of the box. I would literally just end it and be done with it and have enjoy the rest of my uh, of my uh, of my days not pulling cards. That's that's the way I would do it. Got the Tropius. The thing I don't know what that card's going for nowadays, but hopefully we don't even have to wonder. That shiny Cramorant and the Delmise V Max. For some reason, that's just a lot going on for not a super valuable card. Um, okay. 
That's pretty cool, though. All right, Charizard, bring it home. Let's get it. So, okay, yeah, so it is a little older because it has the older code card there, and that's actually the good code card, I think. Get that Rotom, the Rusted Shield. Last one, come on. Last one, can we get it? The Buizel, it's a good code card, so I'm gonna go three, two, one, <laughs> full art ball guy. The best character in all of Sword and Shield. He's hooking it up every time. Hooks us up with the pole this time. Okay, at least all is not lost. Got that full art ball guy just coming through, giving us the balls. All right, reaching in here again, once again. Uh, okay, we're getting towards the end because I'm reaching and I'm not feeling very much. Okay, I think I feel like a booster bundle or something. And it is a Silver Tempest booster bundle. Have we done Silver Tempest on the channel yet? Um, let me know because I actually don't think so. I think this is the first time we're doing Silver Tempest. Got the Lugia, all art Lugia in there, still worth a ton. Um, I would love to pull that card. Growing up, I had Pokemon Silver that I played on, there it is, on Game Boy Advance. I played it until I literally couldn't anymore. Um, what does this come with? Wait, I've never opened this before. Okay, so I think it comes with like the, uh, I'm just gonna skip all that stuff. I think that's okay to skip. I played Pokemon Silver. Oh, this is the building battle. This is not the booster bundle. That's why I was so confused. Oh, I was so confused. Okay, so this comes with all the stuff to like play a TCG. That's what it is. For some reason, I thought it was a booster bundle because it looks just like the like Scarlet and Violet booster bundle that just came out. So yeah, those aren't, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, works for me. So then this doesn't come with six boosters. This probably comes with like four. Is that right? Yeah, four. Okay. All right, that's cool. All right, four packs of Silver Tempest. So yeah, I played, I played Pokemon Silver like literally until it ran dry. Uh, so that Lugia just needs to come home and get into the collection let's get the pull for the channel right here right now the water energy the nine tails i really like silver tempest i don't know why it's not more popular than it is but it is seriously one of my favorite sets the mitang and the miss magius all right i think we're reaching the end here i hope because this has been a long video um probably one of the longer ones that we've done but i'm really enjoying this so if you like it, uh, please be sure to subscribe. If you're still here, click that like button, leave a comment, just do everything. Anything you guys want, Pikachu. Got the Noibat, the Toga tomorrow, the Palace Sand, and a Victini. Halfway done. Let's keep going. We are so warmed up already at this point, uh, but we are due for a pull. So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. The Silver Tempest. I actually have a lot more Silver Tempest that I'm just like trying to figure out what I want to do with. So if you guys have any fun ideas, let me know. I have a lot of just random stuff that I've been wanting to open on the channel. The Wallace and the Hisuian Lilligant. We can't go this whole freaking Silver Tempest thing without a single pull. We can't do it. We, didn't we even not get a hollow? Yeah, at least get a hollow. All right, the Lightning. Come on. The Dawn Fan. The Lopunny. Come on. Let's get it right here. Last pack. Toxic Crook out on the Zygarde. Why? How does that even happen? Four boosters? Were they all white code cards? They were all white code cards. I'm not going to look at all of them, but they were all white code cards. I think this is the last thing in the box. So I'm going to reach in, and it feels like an ETB. And indeed it is a Lost Origin ETB. I think that's everything in here. Yep, that's everything. It is a Lost Origin ETB. Lost Origin, one of the coolest sets. In my opinion, probably the coolest designs in all of the Sword and Shield era, just because you had the Alt Art Aerodactyl, which if you haven't seen it in person, um, trust me, you're going to want to see it in person because the level of detail is just impeccable on that Alt Art Aerodactyl. I've been wanting it for a very, very long time. It's just incredible. The Giratina Alt Art is obviously a big one too. There's a lot of top end pulls on Lost Origin that um, I would love to just get once. Once again, ETB, I'm not gonna go into all that stuff that's in there. Let's just open these packs up. Last set for the day, guys. Last set for the day. This has been really good. I actually think I got a lot for $160. Um, let me know, was it a good deal? Um, tell me, did you guys like what you saw? Ripoff? Probably not. Clefairy, 
Ligatong. Oh, the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler double hit. Nah, Porygon Z. So incredible. I love the Radiant cards in this set too. That's the other thing I forgot to mention is that they really did a good job in bringing the Radiant cards and tying in uh, Legends Arceus as well, which is probably one of the coolest games that has ever been made. So if you haven't played that game, like you're going to want to go play it now. Um, but you've probably already heard about it. It's been out for a while. It's been out for quite a bit. Got the Inkay, the Greedent, and the Mimikyu. It's been out for quite a bit. And it's been... Uh, I got 100% on that game, and I still play it. Still like the shiny hunt, just because the overworld shinies are kind of a blast. Like if there's any, if there's if there's any reason why I don't go back to Sword and Shield, like the video games, it's really just because I can't really like shiny hunt the overworld, which I just thought was a really cool added element um, in the game that I really think was desperately needed. You have a great game console like the Switch, and you know might as well take advantage of you know the increased capacity there. So. I really like that part. And so obviously for that reason, Scarlet and Violet's a fun game to also do shiny hunting, but the shiny rates are kind of broken with sandwiches in that game. So get the Squovit, the Gligar. Ooh, the Trainer Gallery Chandelure. Can we get the double hit? The Gengar Hollow, some spooky poles. Also, obviously it goes without saying, but the Trainer Gallery was another cool kind of added element into some of the 2022 era sets that came out. So uh, I like that they're kind of, I like that they continued it into Crown Zenith at least, but replaced it with some other stuff. And the Drapion V, okay, not too bad. It replaced it with some other stuff and Scarlet and Violet, the illustration rares kind of replaced the secret rares and all that good stuff. So, I mean, it's at least it's just getting more stuff to open, more variety to open on on these sets. Uh, so whether it's a trader gallery, Galeria gallery, illustration, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just think it's a lot, it makes it a lot more fun to pull than say, you know, like, like fusion strike and all those other earlier sets of sword and shield, the Rhyhorn, the electric and a Rhyperior last two today, last two. And they are shiny Gardevoir. All right. This has been a lot of fun been a lot of pokemon card to open in one sitting my hands are tired my arms are tired my back's aching my knees are hurting the last pack of the day then i can rest all right come on let's get it pack trick on all of them you know how we do it the fighting panicking not panicking this one the lick of tongue horsey shop it shell us barbarical <laughs> into a hollow beautifly all right guys that is going to do it. Once again, we opened a mystery box from Legacy Sports Cards here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. I think they hooked it up with an incredible box for the price. We've opened a lot of cool stuff across the Sword and Shield and the Scarlet and Violet era. So drop a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite set was that we pulled. Tell me what you want to see again. I really do appreciate the support. If you've been with me this long, I know it's only been a couple of months, but the support has been absolutely incredible. It has been so incredible to see all you guys coming out, leaving comments, watching these videos the day that they're released, and I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. So if you're just joining us on this journey, I look forward to all of the memories that we're going to make along the way. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.